What's up guys, it's Light Spiral here, and today I'm bringing you a video of a Necro B10 team that probably looks pretty weird, and I'm titling this uh, Necro Team with Jameer, or Jemiah, or whatever it's pronounced, the Wind Dragon, and so I'll get the run started and I'll kind of explain why I thought to use Jemiah in, in Necro, as well as my actual, like, after trying it, what I think of it. Now, what made me want to try it was, since he does the skill refresh, I was thinking, well, if I had some guys that had big cooldowns on multi-hit skills, um, I could obviously get the cooldowns refreshed and do multi-hits a lot. And so that's where I thought to use Jemire. And so when I fir the first monster I thought of when I thought of Jemire and Necro is Lisa, because her third skill has a four-turn cooldown, which is relatively large. And it can do a lot of multi-hits depending on who it brings with it. Um, the only, the Jemire and the Hua both do single hit first skills, so they're not ideal. And then my Grego is also not max skilled, so his second skill is on a four turn cooldown. So that I can actually use that more often as well if I use Jemire, which is kind of cool. And then the other thing that made me think of him was that I have him ruined so slow because you want him to be like the last to move on your team normally because you want your whole team to move and then you refresh your skills and then do it again. And so I just thought he kind of worked. It sounded like he would maybe work well in Necro. And so I already know the results of how it worked. And the, well, the answer is, dang it, my Hua died. Okay, so maybe I should do another run because obviously it's going to lose if Hua dies and sometimes it just happens in on that mini boss and I have a little energy in the chest so I might as well pull it out um I bring the right Hua I did bring I could well I could bring either Hua but this Hua does a lot more damage um than this Hua so let me just try it like this, um, with the speed lead, and I don't know if that's really going to change anything. But I have, I've tried this team, and maybe it's just a team, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Jemiris is not amazing in Necro. Um, but this team doesn't work great. I realize the only defense break here is Grego, and but the kind of logic on just having him as defense break is I do get a reset, the or refresh the defense break with my uh, dragon. And so it's kind of cool. Um, his first skill is pretty useless everywhere, including Necro. And his second skill actually has a few multi-hits on the boss, as well as decent damage if the shield does happen to be down. So I don't think the second skill is terrible in Necro, but this team in general isn't great. I wanted to try and put Tark in here, but there's just really no way to make a good team with Tark in it with, with this kind of team. Um, maybe if you did a complete YOLO team, but I don't. I can't do YOLO Necro yet, so, you know, I'm obviously not going to make a YOLO team if I can't do it. And so, right here, we got to see, this Grego, if his defense break lands on my Hua, it's going to be a bad run. Okay, but it didn't. It worked fine. And so, yeah, well, we'll see how this uh, the run goes. Um, but basically, my... To sum it up, my opinions of Jemire is that he's actually not terrible. Be and, like, I don't think I've ever seen a team with him, in, like a Necro team with Jemire. Um, I, could, I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there that's used him. There's whatever, how, however many million users now. Um, I don't remember exactly how many, but it's in the new, like, loading screen file, resource file loading screen. But I'm sure someone in the world has tried this before, but I haven't personally seen it. And I thought it'd be kind of interesting. And, yeah, I'm kind of reiterating myself and saying it's just he's not great at all. But he is kind of cool. And if you get guys with bigger cooldowns, it works well too. Because Hua doesn't really benefit from cooldown reductions because what makes Hua good is honestly her first skill and her passive. So that's kind of that. Grego on max skilled has a two-turn cooldown on his only skill that has a cooldown. Colleen is on three-turn cooldowns, and Lisa's actually on a four-turn. So Lisa's better with, or benefits more from this um, 
skill refresh. But it's still like, you know, it's not it's not the most like well set up team. Um, of course I need more defense break from from something, but I don't know what it would be. Um, of course Max Skilling Grego would help on the defense break department. And I could switch my Hua for a defense break or my Grego for an actual first skill defense break. But I like to have two first skill speed debuffers go because a lot of times if you just have one, oh god, that Hua is just about to die. But anyways, if, a lot of times if you only have one speed debuff, it doesn't actually land in time, which is kind of unfortunate. But in the, the way I, I can't, I don't know. Necro mechanics. Necro's a hard dungeon, I'm sure you guys know that. And then finally I land the defense break, but the boss is already dead. And this Hua... Oh, dang. Since the boss died, the thing got reset. It's not good when Grego goes over because his passive makes him really hard to kill. And he's my only source of defense break, as well as he can defense break me back. Okay, well this team's a loss. Like I said, I, I, I told you earlier, it, it doesn't work very good. Um, it could be the team... It likely is the team. It's just it's not a great team by any means. Um, I also want to try a team with Galleon in Necro just because I know he's famous for like the speed team god, but just not really a Necro. But that that's another video for another day. Um, if you guys want to see any other videos, if you have any comments or questions, concerns, recommendations, any of that, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm glad to see them. And um, that's kind of it for the Jamar. I'll show you the runes on. Oops, I clicked off of him. I'll show you the runes on him since the video is like titled with him. Uh, he's on a violent will, and he's just got the third skill maxed, which is all I wanted. Um, the only stats to note here is the thirty thousand HP, the what like fifteen hundred defense, as well as the really low speed. It's unfortunate that I'm pretty sure he awakens into speed. Um, I don't know what, I mean, the only thing he'd be good awakening into really is the resistance, I guess. But the reason it's not good for him to awaken into speed is you want him to be like the slowest guy, basically. Um, because you want your whole team to go and use their third skills, and then you can refresh and use your third skills again. But, so it's good that he's low speed. I have him on a defense, HP, HP build. I might show you guys in a video with Jemire and... Uh, raid because he's kind of a decent R5 tank um, for frontline as well as he's got the speed leader skill which is kind of nice for raid sometimes but yeah that's kind of it for this video and Jemire Necro he's not great this team you saw lost two for two and I've said it a million times but I'm saying it one more time before the video ends it's not a great team um, but anyways, that, that's all I really have for today, though, guys. I mean, the best year today's be the worst year tomorrow's.